somehow in chat with Rory. How are you? I am doing very good. How are you? Not too bad. Thanks so much. You're here at Slam Dunk Festival. I know, and it's so sunny. I feel like we've got the right day today. We have indeed. You're looking forward to, uh, to, the, to today and tomorrow? Yes. Bit nervous. My first festival, but couldn't be at a nicer place, and we couldn't have better weather today, so absolutely. cannot wait. Yeah, absolutely. And you've been busy recently. You've been doing a, a load of touring. How's that been going? Yeah, I did my second tour of the UK earlier in February. Honestly, just blows me away every time. Um, I'm 39 now, so it feels <laughs> quite old to be just starting. But yeah. I am so grateful for the people that come to the shows and sing the songs. It just, every day I feel so grateful to have had a second chance at doing music. Yeah, absolutely. So once you finish here this weekend, what's the plan next for you? Oh my gosh, well, I'm going to go and lay in bed for a couple of days and recover. <laughs> and then I'm actually working on uh, my debut album. I'm playing the first single today. It's called nice. Blossom. It's coming out in June. Um, and yeah, just finishing up the album over the next couple of months for hopefully release later in the year. Good. How's it sounding at the moment? Heavy, both lyrically and musically. Nice. Um, but yeah, very, very happy with it, enjoying it, wrestling with it. It's that last bit of the process where I'm just making it sure it says everything I want it to, but yeah. an absolute joy to create. And was it the plan to make it that sound or is it simply just how it's turning out? Absolutely no plan. <laughs> um, I went in with a couple of friends of mine a production duo called Kingdoms um, and we're really really good friends we've written together for many years and that safety of creativity just meant we could expand the boundaries a bit more yeah. um, and just as the song started coming out but the subject matter the sa it just got heavier and heavier so we were like let's run with it so it kind of put there's hip-hop elements there's new metal elements metalcore and some country as well so it's a <laughs> nice. wild ride of genre and are you hoping to have any guests on the record as well? Because I know you've done some guest appearance on other people's music, like, yes, like Blind Channel. Yes, I have. Oh, my gosh. I, Blind Channel, my favourite band, genuinely the nicest guys ever. It was an absolute joy to work with them. I haven't got anyone at the moment, but there's eh, potentially one or two I might try and meet at Slam Dunk <laughs> and go and pull them in. I'm a massive fan of um, Taylor Acorn, yeah. who is also playing the same stage as me. So if I can find her and her beautiful red hair, I might ask her if she wants to. Well, she'll to. stand out and she'll be where you are so it shouldn't be too difficult there you sure. go exactly <laughs> um, now when it comes to writing how, how do tracks normally start off for you for me it's normally a title um, well actually no it's a chaotic emotion <laughs> yeah. that, that I'm struggling to process with and then I will sort of just think about that feeling and try and express it in terms of a title mm -hmm. so for example the track that I'm singing today, my new single is called Blossom. So I got that word and it was about, I want a song about almost dying and being buried alive and feeling like you're not going to make it through, yeah. but actually then like blossoming and it's okay, kind of representing coming through dark times. And then when I've got the title, um, I actually do something really weird, which is I just sit down with YouTube uh, beats and instrumentals yeah. and I listen to tracks I used to love and I'll try singing little hooks over instrumentals. Um, and then I'll voice record that and then I'll go in the studio and play all of those and it's manic and a mess <laughs> but sometimes something beautiful comes out nice. of it. Nice, excellent. Um, you must have some aspirations of things you want to achieve in music. Can what? I tell you the truth? I don't. Okay. I did music um, maybe 15 years ago. I did some really cool things but I was very young. I was in active alcohol addiction. Yeah. I was very mentally unwell. And it didn't go very well, surprisingly, when you mix those things together. Yeah. And I quit music. I swore I'd never, ever do it again because I'd been quite hurt by it. Sounds babyish, but when you love something so much and you lose it, it yeah. hurts. So to come back and have a second chance, like, I'm already doing it. Yeah. Being here, talking with you, playing a festival, touring, this is more than I ever could have hoped for. So everything that happens is this wonderful unexpected bonus and I just feel nice. very grateful yeah nice how, how has the music industry changed then since you were first in it all those years ago to now I mean I joined MySpace I was plugging my first project which was like this little folk pop rock thing yeah. on MySpace and I was adding friends and trying to get them to to then go and buy stuff on iTunes so it was a totally different time yeah. I think the biggest change we've seen is online the fact that you can by creating songs yourself and making videos you can literally find a fan base I don't think I would have had another chance in music had it not been for social media I know it can get a really bad rap things like TikTok can be a dirty word yeah. but for me it was a way to get through to connect people where there weren't any gatekeepers like if you just show up with your voice and your songs 
you can find your people. So I'll be eternally grateful for social media for that. Awesome. Excellent. Rory, it's been a pleasure having Thank a chat with you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks very much.